Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you the process of turning this wall in my office into an accent wall that anchors the space with texture and color. So I started by emptying out the room. You can see that it was really cluttered. This room basically became our junk room when we started unpacking. There were also shelves on the walls that the previous owners left and once we removed these, it was really a game changer and it really opened up the space. I did not realize how big this room actually was um, because those shelves just made it look kind of smaller than it was. My idea for this wall was kind of make it like a slatted look, I guess, like a very modern look um, with square trim pieces. And I want it to be definitely like very textured. And I also wanted it to be like very close together. I don't know if I can find a picture to help explain, but if I can, I will insert it here. But when I was thinking about this and kind of like brainstorming, um, I mentioned this and then i was kind of like well that's one gonna be really expensive and two not really gonna go with the house if you haven't seen the house tour maybe check that out after this video but this is a house that was built in the 1920s and still has a lot of the original trim and a like a lot of the original details i went to the store and decided to use this textured trim to create kind of like a board and batten inspired look. I wanted something that would look like it belongs the house, kind of vintage, but still can have like a modern feel. So I thought that like going with one of those plain trim pieces that I originally imagined would just be too modern and kind of just be like too geometric and edgy for the space and the house. So I brought that textured trim home and played around with the ideal spacing. Um, that ended up being about 18 inches apart. We measured the trim and cut it to the correct length for the wall. Joe just used the handsaw to cut it to the correct length and we also prepped for painting by taping the trim and sealing. I started painting. I painted the trim and wall separately. Um, you'll see that I'm using a green paint here from Claire Paint. Um, the quality of that paint was amazing. It had great coverage and it's a zero VOC paint. So it's ideal for in indoor projects like this. Um, it was also nice not to have to be constantly airing out the room as we were working because it was winter when I was doing this. So I really appreciated staying warm while painting. Once the paint was dry, we used liquid nails on the back of the trim to glue it to the wall. And this is where we did use like um, a laser level, but we also kind of eyeballed it because the floors do slant a lot um, in the house in general, but especially in this room. Um, so we kind of did a little bit of both measuring and eyeballing to make sure that the trim looked as straight as it could. Once we glued up the trim we also use um, really thin nails almost like tacks to nail it into the wall and this is just really securing it to the wall we repeated that process along the 18 inch measurements across the entire wall And 
and technically the wall was done at this point i originally thought that it came out really great and i think that is in part because i do like this green color on its own and i was happy that the project was done but i actually worked in the office and lived with it for a few weeks and just decided that it's not really the vibe that i was going for it was a little bit hard for me to imagine styling it and I felt like it kind of had more of a cabin like feel than I was um, like than I was anticipating I guess especially because of all the warm wood tones I felt like the green was kind of clashing a little bit or just didn't quite belong in the way that I wanted it to so <laughs> I went back to the drawing board and got a bunch of samples for some sort of orange or terracotta or pink um, and I ended up going with this pink color. It's by Valspar. I don't remember the name of the color off the top of my head, but I'll put it on the screen somewhere. I decided on this dusty rose color because it was a, like a warmer tone and I felt like it really unified the different wood tones in the space and i also thought it was a little bit easier to style so i just painted everything over everything um i didn't take the trim down at all and this is what it looks like now I think this wall really anchors the space with an unexpected texture and just this really equally soothing and lively dusty rose color. Um, I think it's both playful and it can be dressed to be a little bit more mature. And I think that it adds some depth to the space now that that wall is not just plain white. I also chose to style the wall with the cabinet flip that I did in my previous video. So while I work on part two of making over my office, be sure to check out the cabinet flip. Make sure you subscribe with your notifications on so you don't miss my next video. Thanks for watching.